Bonk has a partnership with Manta Pacific. It's an EVM. Let's go through this so you can claim your rewards. So here we are. This link will be below, of course. Basically, there's some dual citizenship rewards available for those who are actually staking their bonk. I don't understand exactly what it's going to entail, but we're going to do it together because we need to use another blockchain. It's an EVM and not everyone's going to be familiar with it. So phase one is complete, but we're just going to skip this because basically this won't apply to most people. You had to already have set it up, had ETH in the wallet, and I need to show you how to get ETH over there. Phase two is coming up. So once we've done this, you will get a small amount of dust in that wallet, which will allow you to actually play on that blockchain. So my assumption is this way of these two projects working together an EVM and Bonk is just to grow the pie. How that works exactly, I don't know. But we stake our Bonk, so let's go and claim our Bonk first, and then I'll show you the next step. So we're at bonkrewards.com, and we can see down here we've got some claims. I'm going to claim all of this. Not a crazy amount, but we'll claim, we'll claim it all. As a reminder, I do like to keep some Bonk in my wallet. I don't have any Bonk in this wallet. I'm just going to stake everything. But just in general, that is what I like to do. 10 or 20 million actually in my wallet and then more than 20 million staked. Remember, with staking, there is smart contract risk. However, it's been good thus far. And of course, this is not financial advice and never will be. So I'm pretty sure this claim should have gone through. We'll quickly refresh the page. Looks like some have claimed, but the others haven't. So there is some still here to be claimed, but that's fine. I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put this in for six months, lock it just to compound because I like bonk. So that's fine, that part's done. Now let me show you actually how you're going to claim your rewards. So this is from Manta Network. They're using a particular bridge. But first, we need to set up an EVM compatible wallet, such as MetaMask. If you don't know how to get a MetaMask, I'll link a video which shows you how to do that. But I'm assuming most people know. Here's a MetaMask wallet here. I do not have anything on the Manta Network blockchain. So my first step is go to chainlist.org and just type in Manta. Manta Pacific Mainnet Connect Wallet. I don't want to go and connect that wallet. So what I'm just going to do is manage the extension, turn it off, go back, refresh, connect the wallet, MetaMask, account one, great, confirm, then add to MetaMask. We'll be adding all these details, approving. This is adding like the RPC and stuff. We can switch network. That's not really relevant. Now what we've got here is, I don't think we've got anything on Ethereum, nothing on Linear. We've got a little bit on Arbitrum. This was just shown in a Jupyter tutorial on how to use dbridge. And we've got nothing on Manta. So I want to add one more network here. And sometimes you can do it directly from within MetaMask. I'm going to do a two-stage process because one, we'll learn something. And two, this is probably an easy way if you're not already on an EVM. If you're on an EVM already, you can skip this step. You can just come over here and you can jump into zero way and move, say, from base over to Manta some ETH. So in this wallet, I do actually have some Ethereum already. But let's pretend I've got none. That way I can show you how to do the next step. So we'll go to dbridge, dbridge.finance. If you need a full tutorial on this, I will link it below. We'll go to bridge and I'm going to go from Solana because that's most likely where you're going to be going from. We'll have a look and see what we've got in our Solana wallet. Not a lot. So I'm going to take a little bit of soul and then I'm going to go from here. We cannot actually select Manta Pacific. So we're going to go to base first and then we're going to buy some ETH and we'll connect our wallet. Soul Flare or whatever your Solana wallet is. I'm going to turn on Auto Connect to connect. I'm not going to do anything crazy, like $8 worth should be fine. And then I'm going to send this and I'll go into my MetaMask. I'll copy this address like so, paste it in. And as per normal, always double check your addresses. So the first five and the last five characters. Yep, confirm trade. And then this is what it's going to cost. It's going to cost a little bit more Soul. Approve. Yes, there's a little bit of a fee involved. However, we are getting points with dbridge, so I'm fine with that. If you don't want to use this, I don't think there's going to be a more affordable option anywhere else. So that's already bridged across. It's very, very fast and we have more ETH. So our dbridge step is done. Now we come back to this tweet and we just go zeroway.io refuel. We want to go from this first blockchain, which is base. We want to go across to Manta Pacific. We'll connect our MetaMask next and confirm. And I don't think we need to send it too much. I think that should be enough, 0.05. That's quite a bit, actually. I think that's like $15, even more than $15. You're probably not going to need that much, but I'm just going to send it anyway. Click on refuel, $19. We're going to send, confirm, and this is successful. Click on the status. It's going to take a little bit of time to do both sides of the transaction. Now, as it says, your gas is actually refueled by zero way. So I'm guessing you're not paying anything at present with this bridge. 
And in case you're wondering, we can't actually go from Solana. This is only for EVM networks. Otherwise, we would have gone from Solana directly. Let's have a look or we'll refresh, see if we can see our transaction. Click on this. So it has left the base chain. Now we're just waiting for it to come into Manta. So we'll jump into our MetaMask wallet. Then we come up to the top left, base, Manta Pacific. We have no transactions. We do. The ETH has just come through. So there is our ETH. So now we come back to this suite, scroll on down, bonk.manta.network. That's where we're going. Then down the bottom, start earning rewards, connect our MetaMask desktop, connect with MetaMask extension, next, confirm, and then there's a signature request. Sign that, we're good. Now the next step, we have to have over 1 million bonk staked. We do, but we of course have to connect the right wallet. So staking bonk, we can turn on auto connect, not necessary though, but we will. Then we confirm to bond. So we're gonna bond our Solana address to this one and then approve. Congratulations. Then we have to bind X. We cannot open it in a new page. And the strange thing is when we bind X, it wants us to log in completely in a brand new way, which is annoying, but I'll quickly do this. So after we've logged in, we authorize the app. You can see what it can do. It does say that it can follow and unfollow people for you. So that's a little bit strange, but I imagine it's gonna get you to follow Manta Network. And then everything else, this is pretty normal. A Little bit strange, you cannot post on your behalf though. So I'm okay with those permissions. I've got an error here, Twitter is already bound. So I guess I need a different Twitter account. So I'm gonna bind this to a different Twitter. So then we go ahead and this is using a different profile. We go ahead and we post this, post was sent. Then after we've tweeted, we click this to verify. Then we can claim our reward, 6.9 Manta. Click claim, do the capture, this is a bus. And then it's a minimal gas fee and we confirm the transaction. And that's how you claim your Manta rewards. Now 6.9 Manta is only worth about $7. But who knows, maybe you're interested in trying this network in the future. At the very least, it may not have been worth our effort for $7, but we've learned something. And if the Manta network ever heats up in the future, well, we've got funds over there, we can do what we like. That's all for this tutorial. If you liked it, like it. If you loved it, subscribe. Catch you in the next one.